Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis. I was wanting to ask you if you know how you got your name. I think that's sort of interesting, people's names. Have you ever thought about it? And it's what's interesting to me, for instance, is someone names their child Frederick. Everybody calls him Fred. Or they name him Donald. Everybody calls him Don, except for the President of the United States, I've noticed. Or they name him Mary Ann, and they call him either Mary or they call him Ann. And I want to share with you, how did you get your name? Do you know? Did you ever ask? Well, I want to share with you how I got my name. My dad always told me that he gave me my name because he wanted my name to be short and not have any letters like a Y or a Z going below the line because he was a school teacher back in the 1950s and 60s and maybe even the 1940s, I guess. And he said he had to write all the students' names and he didn't want my name to have letters going below the line running into the next student's name or running off the page. So he said he named me Dan D. And once in a while in high school, as I'd walk to school, probably 10 or 20 times over a period of five years, I saw a truck go down the road that said Dan D on it. It looked like a bread truck. And I never did come home and say, guess what? There's a truck out there. It's got my name on it. But then about seven or eight years ago, before my sister passed away, she said, you know, I named you. I said, no, you didn't. My dad named me. She said, no, I named you. And here she hadn't told me in all those years. She said, he came to me. I was 12 years old. I said, you got a baby brother. What do you want to call him? And she said, I said, Dan D. Because I saw a truck go down the road with Dandy potato chips on it. Now, I bought Dandy potato chips, a few hundred bags, and I've handed them out to clients and friends. But unfortunately, about two years ago, Dandy potato chips, located in Ohio, went out of business. Now, I believe they were probably sold in Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, because Pen or West Virginia is where we were located. So they're not sold all around the country, or they wouldn't. But I wanted to pass that along to you and think about your name. If you don't know how you got your name, find out from your parents. I mean, think about some names that are really unique and unusual and difficult to pronounce. How did they get their name instead of just a John or a Sam or a Fred or something like that? And have a great day.